Remember to read the chapter on thermodynamics for next class. Julie! Grandpa! You were going to teach me to ride my bike today. Remember? Of course. But only after you teach me to use the computer. Remember? Of course I do, Grandpa. Don't worry. You learn in no time. So, with the buttons on the top, I can change the lettering. It's called font. The font. Right, the font. Grandpa, why do you like to teach? Because an idea is a great thing. However, when we share it with others, it becomes marvelous. When we pass them on, our ideas grow into fantastic realities. These, in turn, are passed on and then added to, and passed on and added to again, and so on. From fire to the steam engine. Ideas that help all of us. Just think of hydroelectric dams, wind power, solar energy. Imagine if Fleming had kept his discovery of penicillin to himself, or Salk and Sabin their polio vaccines. Were it not for Bell, we would not have the telephone. Without the Wright brothers, the world today would not be connected by planes. The role of Banting and McCloyd and the students best and call it in the breakthrough of insulin as a treatment for diabetes. I know, I know! From the stone wheel to the car. From the Lumiere Brothers' first movie to 3D cartoons. From posterity discoveries to the posterization process in the dairy industry. From Da Vinci the Sulis Man to the coronary bypass. From the telescope to the Hubble. Definitely, Jules Verne's science fiction is no fiction at all. From tiny cells to a glamorous galaxy, an expanding universe. From the smallest to the biggest discoveries. These strong bricks of knowledge are society's heritage and commonwealth that pave the way so that we may rise up to the stars while building the same home here for the whole wide world. That's so, Julie, my child. Those who learn, do. Those who teach, share. And all of us together, through friendship and service, shape the future.